It's impossible to rightly govern the world without God in the Bible. George Washington. I'm with George Washington. I'm in the same camp as George Washington. 230 or 40 years since President Washington said that, at the time he said that, they said, I'll tell you what, that man is standing on God Almighty and the Bible. We need to name the capital of our country after him. We need to erect a huge monument in his honor. That big Washington monument in D.C., you know what that capstone, what it says on it? Praise God. I'm with George Washington. Who you with? Was he a religious nut? Because that's what they say I would be. 235 years later, I have a Bible in my hand. What about Andrew Jackson? That reporter asked Andrew Jackson. He was number seven. Uh, President Jackson, how come you always carry your Bible with you? He said, that book, sir, is the rock the Republic rests on. That's why I carry it. I'm with Andrew Jackson. I'm still there, Pennsylvania. Was he a religious nut? Right over here in Philadelphia. President number three said, we hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men were created equal. Were created equal. He's a Genesis man. They've been endowed by their creator. There's another godly man for you. With certain unalienable rights. These are God-given rights, Pennsylvania, that nobody can take from you, according to the right of your Declaration of Independence. Right over there in Philadelphia. Hadn't been that long ago. This is where it started. And thank God for those kind of men, too, by the way. We've been endowed by our Creator, according to Thomas Jefferson, with certain unalienable rights. Among these are life. I tell you, it didn't take us 150 years. We start ripping babies out of wombs. They should have listened to Thomas Jefferson. You have a God-given right to live inside your mother. Come on to debate whether it's a uh, right or wrong to rip you out of your mother's womb when you're about that long? Listen, from the time you started inside your mother's womb, Thomas Jefferson had it right. You have a God-given right to live, for crying out loud. You're, you're this long. You're a week old inside your mother. They suck you out of there when you're about like that. You wouldn't be here tonight. And when you got to about the size of my thumb, they suck you out. You wouldn't be here. Then you grew a little bigger, like my fist. And finally, eight, nine months later, you come out. And we debate whether it's uh, some woman has the right to tear you out of there a piece at a time? Come on! You have a God-given right to live in all places inside your mother. Mm -hmm. What in the world happened to us? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what happened to us. We need more George Washington. We need more Andrew Jacksons. We need more Thomas Jeffersons. A God-given right to live, to be free, and to pursue happiness. A God-given right to pursue happiness.